Ah, <sighs> I thought it was time for a nice, relaxing game here on the second channel. No drama, no problems, no high octane action, no crashing, nothing but a relaxing farm simulator. Which is why I've decided to take our relaxing farm simulator and add to it 123 mods. Hello, it's Stardew Valley with your good pal, Mr. Samuel Streamer. That's me, by the way. Hello, how's it going? Uh, we're gonna do something. We're gonna do something nice and chill, and we're just gonna we're gonna use this as a, a nice a vehicle for a chat. We can just sit and catch up and you know talk about stuff while building a farm. Uh, a very complicated farm that might take me a while to catch up. Now, to clarify, I have played Stardew Valley before. Um, not recently, not in, not in, you know, maybe like a year or two, but I have played it before. My rarest achievement ever on Steam is from Stardew Valley, from the, um, what is it called? F was it Fector's Challenge or something like that? It's where you play one of the mini games in the bar and don't take damage. It's, it's annoying. It's horrible. But for today, we're just going to make ourselves a nice farm and I'm just going to play this. Until I'm bored of it. It wants us to click there. Oh, hello. Uh, advanced game options. Community center bundles. Normal or remixed? Oh, interesting. So, remix is like new community center bundles. Oh, cool. Uh, that sounds fine. Community center is like, you know, your goals, right? Things you try and you try and go for in the game. Let's let's remix all of these and see what new stuff. Oh, look at all this. There's so much new stuff. Okay. Um, guarantee year one completable. To sell red cabbage seeds. Um, sure, I don't mind that. We're, we're not going to aim for that. We're certainly not going to get it. Do I want monsters on the farm? Probably not. Profit margins. Oh, you can, like, set yourself a handicap. We'll leave that normal. I'm all right with that. Multiplayer, random seed. That's all good. Firstly, uh, who's going to be our farmer? Should we have the delightful, uh, demure nature of Glop Shitto? Perhaps Chainsaw Hands could bring her way over to the farming life and retire. Or alternatively, we could have, uh, we could have Grigna. Grigna Grignason, in fact. Let's type that at Grignason. We can't have that. We can have Grigna Grigna, which is incredible. We're just going to have Grigna. Uh, the farm name is going to be... Um, that's a real great question. We're going to call it the... Um, we're going to call it Grigna Farm. And my favorite thing, or Grigna's favorite thing, is uh, is, is uh, treasure. We like treasure. That's nice. Animal preference. Uh, we can have... The variety of cats. Okay, that's new since I last played. You can either pick a cat or dog last time I played. Um, we've got a goofy looking dog. Uh, uh, a more, you know, like attentive looking dog. Or a little silly guy. I think we're going to go for this one. I think it suits Grigna the Barbarian to have Barkbarian, his, his friendly dog friend. Uh, okay, well, let's make some Grigna then. <coughs> Apologies if I cough. I am still ill. I'll try and pause it when I can to cut it out. I also plan on doing uh, silly voices for all the characters, but as far as I know, this mod pack that I'm using, that I'll put a link to down in the description, it's called like Stardew Valley Very Expanded or something like that. It's the top, um, it's the top collection on the Nexus Mods Collections page. I'll put a link to it and you can just go through and kind of pick what you want or you can subscribe to the whole thing. Um, but I think it adds a bunch of new characters, which is going to make it really difficult to, to, to do that many voices. Um, that's beards, right? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's it. Um, let's find a hair. What, what type of hair did Grigna have? It was like kind of messy, generic barbarian hair, right? Not that. That's not right at all. Some of these are very nice, though. Grigna with pigtails is quite nice. Grigtails is uh, quite nice. I think I want to go for something that just looks a bit more generic barbarian. Long, unkempt. Maybe that. That could work fine. Um, eye color. He was a very generic Viking character. So we'll just go <laughs> blonde hair, blue eyes. I think that works pretty well. There you go. Crank that up. So that's horrible. It looks like a goddamn Christmas tree. Um, that's better. That really does not look right at all. I hate that. It reminds me of who does it remind me of? It's horrible either way, and I'm not sure I like it. Um, let's see if we can work with the uh, shirt and pants to make him look a bit more barbarian. Um, oh, Luigi. Wahoo! Um, let's go for. Oh, I like the tuxedo. That's nice. Very, very classy. Very suave. Is that like like leather? Like a leather coat? That could be good. That was 19, I think. Um, I don't suppose there's like plate armor. 31 looks pretty good. Uh, let's have a look here. Grigner in shorts is is actually kind of cursed. There's not many pants, are there? Alright, I guess we'll just go for that one then and try and color it the same as uh, the shirt. What do we want? We want like our brown. So let's go red and kind of darken it down a bit here. Maybe not that dark. I'll get it. I'll get it. Hang on. It's probably about... 
Uh, it's not there, but it's close enough. That's good enough for me. All right, perfect. Grigna Grignason of Grigna Farm. Favorite thing is treasure and has a nice little dog here. So these are all the different... Oh, shit, look at this. These are all the different farms we could pick. Immersive Farm 2 Remastered. Huge tracts of lands with gated progression features tillable grass and secrets to discover. Riverland Farm, Forest Farm, Hilltop Farm, Wilderness Farm, Four Corners Farm, or Beach Farm. Beach Farm sounds fun. Let's go for this one then, seeing as that seems like that's a very custom intentional thing. Well, let's dive in. Grigna's all about treasures. I think Grigna's going to be spending a lot of time in the mine. As a treasure hunting barbarian, you kind of presume so, right? Oh, no. Poor, sweet, old Santa. And for my very special grandson. Oh, he's on his deathbed. I want you to have the sealed envelope. A literal deathbed, I suppose. Oh. God, Grandpa, you got quite the throwing arm. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. You're getting very decked, Kane. Stay a while and listen. There will be a, there will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. That was about three days ago. No, it's, that time has already passed, old man. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Oh, that was about when I started this channel. Not this channel. This channel is my... Uh, is, it fills the growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. It's a copy of Breath of the Wild on Nintendo Switch. Now let Grandpa rest. Uh, 20 years later? Or is that just like some amount of years later? Oh. Look, it's Jojamart. Join us and thrive. Wow. And they made this as a joke back whenever this game came out. Uh, but it's very, it's very Amazon, isn't it? You got Woody from uh, Toy Story there working. Grigner's asleep on the job. Classic Grigner. As, a, as an actual skeleton there. What's Grigner doing behind his desk? Apparently he's getting moist. I won't ask questions. Oh, it's Grandpa's letter. I have to insert it. Grandpa's got his own wax seal. That man was so extra. Dear Grigna, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered the most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. Disneyland, I've enclosed a deed to that place. My pride and joy, Grigna Farm. <laughs> oh god, that caught me off guard. Oh, of all the series to do when I've got the cold, this was a horrible idea. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa Grigna. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? That's very macabre. <laughs> Mayor Lewis is still alive. <laughs> Clearly, they're the best of friends. Wow. And here we are, Stardew Valley. I hope you're. I hope you're all. I hope you're all ready for this. This is going to be the most. It's going to be the most serene and peaceful experience you've ever seen. No anger. No hatred. No, no raising blood pressure. Just Grigna living his best life on the farm. It has crashed, so I am filling for time. Blood pressure is rising steadily. I won't lie to you. We are not off to the best start. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are. Is Grigna driving the bus that he's arriving into town on? That's a cruel system they have going on here. You can come and visit, but you've got to make your own way. Well, literally, you have to make your own way. Stardew Valley, 0 0.5 miles. Set amid nothing but mountains upon mountains upon mountains. Oh. Sounds as if there's a new hunk in town. And his name is Grigna. I've, I've realized who he reminds me of. It's Jesus Christ himself. 
Grigna, I'm happy to see you again. It's been a couple of months. It's uh, this lady that we know. I can't believe it's move-in day for you. Everyone in town is excited. You're officially a resident of Stardew Valley. Wow, look at how pleased he is. <laughs> you what, are you telling me you don't do that in real life? I go to the shop. Finally, they've got milk back in stock and I leap up. Everybody looks at me. For some reason, they've thrown me out. I finished repairing the bridge, restoring electricity to the cottage, and restored most of the fences. And the other various tasks he was signed me to do. But is he the king? I said over to Gregna Farm so I can show you. I have a surprise as well. Love. That was bloody fast. Man's already fallen in love. It's the Reddit moderator. What a dump. This place sucks. You could have... You could have... Tidied it up a little bit, huh? Come look at the backyard. Oh! Okay. Something new. It's, uh... There's flowers. You never had a, ba a backyard in the base game, right? Oh, she's giving us the dog light right away. Lewis and I cleaned up the backyard and I constructed a pear house for you. Oh! So a way of welcoming you to the valley, Grigna. Thank you. I mean, you could have cleaned up the rest of it. Good God, this place is a dump. They probably just couldn't sell this place. It's as biohazard. Lewis is inside the cottage preparing some things for you still. Since he's busy, this is a good opportunity for me to show you the repaired bridge. Hey, a bridge. That's new. Before you know, everybody's subscribing to it. Ah. Oh, he's so happy. Yes, a bridge. <laughs> Sorry about the branches. We had a windstorm last week. And people in this town are incapable of picking anything up after themselves. Last time you saw the bridge a couple of months ago, it was partially collapsed. I did my best to repair it. She is a very multi-talented lady. It wasn't easy. I've repaired wooden bridges before, but not stone ones. And you've done a great job. So with the bridge, fence, and shipping bin repairs, restoring electricity and water to the cottage, overhauling the cottage interior, renovating the fireplace and the land survey, are you about to uh, charge me? This is a Tom Nook situation. You owe me $4.2 million. The grand total of the cost will be 103,000 G. As in, good God, that's a lot of money. I, only, I will only have 500 G left. I have just enough. I, I don't have money for the greenhouse repairs right now. Oh, so she's going to take everything but our last 500 G. Sorry it was so expensive, Gregner. The bridge repairs alone came to 45,000 G. The stone slabs I purchased and equipment I rented wasn't cheap. Oh, is this Grigna's bridge, then? It bloody better be if he's footing the bill for it. Lewis should be finishing up right around now. We should head back to the cottage. I know, man, Lewis. I don't like what that sounds like. Is Marnie in there, too? She's not finishing up, though. She never finishes up. I'll go get Lewis. He's inside. Inside what? Oh, the cottage, I see. I, I mean, this is Grigna's house. Grigna could just... He could just go in. <laughs> Shit, hide the drugs. Throw those bottles in the bin, for God's sake. That's old man Lewis. No, oh, I've got... A, I don't have another old man voice in my repertoire. I mean, uh, old men just sound like regular men, just old. It's been some time since we've last seen each other, Grigner. I shouldn't have used it on old grandpa. I hope the improvements we've made to Grigner Farm and your grandpa's cottage will make it easier to get settled in. Your furniture and belongings arrived a couple of days ago. Everything is inside. Can we go in? Why is she so out of breath? Robin, did you show Grigna the improvements out here? I love the bridge that I bankrupted myself for. Grigna is happy with the work that's been done. Grigna never said a goddamn thing about the work that's been done. Grigna is bankrupt. He does look a little bit Obi-Wan Kenobi, doesn't he? That's good to hear. Don't look in the lens. All these years is enough time for farmland to turn into this. You'll need various tools to get started. Clint, the local blacksmith, made tools to help you get started on clearing away the debris and trees. There's an axe, pickaxe, hose, scythe, and watering can in your cottage. That'll cost you 15,000 G. It'll be a lot of work turning Grigna Farm into what it once was, Grigna. Your grandpa Grigna would be proud of you. Tomorrow, you, Grigna, should introduce yourself to the villagers. Everyone in the valley knows you just moved in. <laughs> Demetrius, my husband, is excited to meet you, Grigna. Drop by our house in the mountains when you have a chance. Excellent. The other farmers are thrilled to have another cult. I, I genuinely thought it was going to say cultist then. In the valley. It does feel a bit culty, doesn't it? You should stop by their farms as well when you have a chance. I'll put it on my to-do list. 
<laughs> Number one, desperately find some money to pay for all the bills you people are slapping Grigna with. See, hang on, hold on. Grandpa? Man's like, oh, I've left you my inheritance. By the way, it's going to cost you your entire life savings. That old man gave us a burden. You should have sold this place on, Grigna. We're going to leave you so you can get settled in. If you have any questions or concerns, you know where to find us. Or well, there's just a body in the cottage. If you get cold, you can use the fireplace. It works great now. Oh, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Get settled in. Thank you. I would love to. You are just giving me an itemized receipt for everything in this damn town. Pierre needed a new window. Slap it on the bill. Put it on my tab. Wow. This is nice. This is nice. I'm feeling... I'm, I'm already feeling at peace. Already feeling at peace. Very calm. Very collected. It's taking a long time to save, isn't it? The blood pressure's rising again. Ah, here we go. Finally. Grigna gets control over his life. Or maybe not. <laughs> Give it a while. Might just have a little bit more... We got a little bit more loading to do. Ah, another day to be Grigna. Wow, here we are. Oh, we got a fish. Oh, decorative bowl. No, put that back. We don't need to carry a fish around in our pocket. Fireplace works fine. Fantastic. We should watch the TV, see if there's anything on. Weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. We now have the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Wow, that's good. Fortune teller. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits feel neutral today. <laughs> I almost feel like the spirits wouldn't communicate that. Ooh, we're feeling very ambivalent. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for you all. Now listen to us. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. Thank you. A parsnip seeds. Oh, excellent. And a new journal entry. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Thank you, Mayor Lewis. All right, what have we got? Getting started. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Fine. And then introductions. 74 people. Good God. And there was me planning on doing a voice for every person in there. That's off the menu. Good Lord. Okay. Well, I think the first thing's first. I'm going to look around the farm, see what's different here. Hi, farmer. My name's Eloise. Oh, that's dangerously close. My father and I live in a neighborhood called East Scarp. There's a beach and a pond and loads of berries. My dad's a vet and you're a farmer, so I think you two will be friends. I hope we can be friends too. You should come visit us soon, but not on a school day because then I'm in class with Jazz and Vinny. Hope to see you soon, Eloise. Thank you. That's really, that's very kind of you. Whoa, what is this? We got like a, oh my God, these tools are a manky. Clint, were you drunk when you crafted these? My God, man. Look at this. Okay, well, what's here then? This is the mushroom cave. Uh, oh, minecarts. Okay. Leads us to somewhere. Oh my god, where are we? Uh, farm. Oh, is the, it takes us... Right, so here's the farm. So we've gone through here and round the corner. Fair enough. Ridgeside Village. Lana. Andy. Sophia. Leah. Okay, so this is all new. This, this area here is all new, right? Um, and we got people on this side of town. So this is all new as well. Oh, wow, okay. I recognize a lot of these people. Susan. Susan's pretty new as far as I remember. Okay, wow, there's so much stuff. This is the Ridgeside Village. Cindersap Forest, I think, is is kind of old, right? Um, okay, well, let's hop back in and go to the other side again. Where does this one take us? Oh, my God, I have no idea. Where are we now? Uh. <laughs> where, where are we now? Um... I, I can't even see us on the map. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I can't see us at all. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about it. That's fine. We'll worry about that later. Okay. So that's quite handy. We got a little hub that could take us to other places. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, the local map isn't much use, is it? We can't, like, zoom in or anything like that. Be nice to get, like, a like a mini map or something. Let's go have a look around, see what we can find. Then we'll plant some parsnips afterwards, I suppose. Now, there's no way to regain energy, is there? Just, like, immediately. You unlock the spring light. Oh, right, here's this bridge. You unlock the spring later on. Wow, this is a lovely bridge. What a, what a great job. Is this the axe? That's the axe. Clint, you have really balls this up, my friend. This takes us to... Oh, this just leads to Marnie's place. Okay, right, sorry. I'm getting a mental map of, of where everything leads to. Okay, so that makes sense. That's good. Way more convenient, because I remember you had to go quite a long way to get to Marnie's before. 
Well, let's follow these paths, see what we can find. It looks like there's something right there already. It's like a greenhouse or something like that. Uh, excuse me. Allow Gringlin to pass. There's a very mighty axe. So this, this must be the greenhouse that we can eventually pay to rebuild. Gotcha. <coughs> Doesn't look as if there's as much farming land as there is in the base game, but maybe it's like much bigger over towards this side. Then you need an upgraded axe to chop these big old woods down, don't you? So this is pretty much what we've got to work with right now. Unless we can get through at the top here. This is a nice place. It looks like it could be bigger than the base game, but it's kind of hard to tell just from just from where we are right now. Oh, God. Yeah, no, that one's the axe. Sorry. They look very, very similar, okay? Clint did a terrible job. And this way probably leads back to the same mountains as before. Got it. Okay. So isn't this normally where the mushroom cave is by this, by this river? Let's see if we can get over there. Have a look around. God, I have not played this in so long. Just a nice, relaxing time with your pal Gregna. Then we'll go and introduce ourselves to the people. And that'll be... Oh, there's another minecart. Oh, my God. Okay. There's Grandpa Shrine. Ah, oh, hello. Let's go and have a look. What are the old men... Oh, we can't get to it. We need a, we need a bigger axe to, to knock down those giant blocks. Okay, fair enough. Um, How did I get in here? Hello? <laughs> We're very lost already. We're going to get stuck. The stars to death. Episode one. Man, this is so peaceful. I don't think I've heard nature in real life for so long. This is good. This is the closest I've heard to natural birds. Okay, where does this go? This is just back to the other side. Yeah, okay, I remember now. Where is this then? Can I see Gregor on the map anywhere? Ah. Uh, I genuinely have not a clue where this has taken us. Not that it really matters, to be honest. It does say Grigna Farm. Weird. All right, well, let's head into... Well, actually, let's plant these past names first. Again, I'm getting very distracted with the... <laughs> the exploration aspect of things. Let's, let's put it over on this side, actually. Where do we refill the watering can? Do I have to go back down to the river every single time? That'd be horrible. Okay. Wow, I forgot how much manual work. I know I've only... Well, I know I've only put down six plots so far, but... Kind of forgot how much work was associated without those really, really good tools that you get later on. Let's just go in the mine. That's, that's way more on, on brand for Grigna. Who needs a farm when you could be a treasure hunting barbarian? Ah, oh, so serene, isn't it? Oh, you idiot. Grigna, you actual moron. You just water the path. Don't waste that water. I don't know where the hell we're supposed to refill it. Perfect. You've done it again, Jesus Grigna. Let's go and have a look around town then, see what we've got. There's another path going down there. Oh. Hello there. It's me, Gregna. A civilized Gregna. Sheesh, Lenny, not so loud now. What if someone heard you? They might find out about me and... <gasps> Chill, Lulu. No one cares. Anyway, I've got to go. I don't recognize her. Still got loads of paperwork left. Real nice of you to sell me with all that, by the way. Stop calling me that. And it's your own fault for procrastinating all the time. No can do, Lulu. It's my right as your big sister. Anyway, gotta go. Gotta catch the cable car before it fills up. Hang on, if Grandpa said old, old man Lewis was gonna die soon, she must be... She must be ancient. 130 years of age. It's the valley. Everybody's immortal here. There's a very dark secret. They do sacrifices under Pierre's. Grigna! Oh, nice seeing you. How much of that did you hear? Oh, Lenny! Grigna's asking him a lot. I'm gonna have to fill in for Grigna's voice, aren't I? That was Lenny, my older sister. She came out to give me Ridgeside Village's financial report from last year. Oh, what what is Ridgeside Village? Ridgeside Village? Oh, your grandpa never told you. There are neighbors in the mountains to the west. You can use the cable car to head up there if you'd like to visit. A cable car is a marvel of engineering. Who knows how they paid for it? Probably. I've got an idea. It's how you pay for everything in this town. You slap it on Grigna's bill. I did hear that someone in the village has closed ties to the governor. Probably you, Lewis, you corrupt piece of shit. Anyway, do go visit when you have time. Part of their tourism revenue goes to Pelican Town, you know. Oh, I better get back to town. Goodbye now, Grigna. <laughs> I just love the idea Grigna doesn't actually speak at all. Just whistles at them. Whistles them a nice tune like a pet parrot. Ridgeside Village, huh? I should visit sometime soon. Okay. Well, that's got to be a whole new... The town then, because I definitely don't remember that one. 
You used to be able to go through the tunnel. I presume you still can. I doubt they'd remove anything, right? We won't worry about that for now. That's, that's a long time away. Oh, what is this? There's a staircase up. You know what? Don't get distracted. Let's go introduce ourselves to people first. There's someone. Hey. Greetings. This is I, Grigna. It's Kenneth, everybody. Look. You're the new resident of the valley. Lenny said you'd likely stop by. Nice to meet you. I'm Kenneth. Ridgeside Village's own electrician. Hope you're doing well. Oh, there's someone else. Hello. It's Yuma. Oh, I don't know you. Oh, you're the new farmer. I'm Yuma. Shira is my big brother. Well, I need to go. Bye. Wow, they're all short on conversation here, aren't they? Oh, copper all. Thank you. There's another person. Who are you? It's Philip. Hello, sir. I haven't seen you around here before. Yeah, sir is good. Yeah, you're goddamn right. I'm Philip. I work as a physical therapist for some individuals in the area. I'll see you around. Look, it's this guy. Shiro, I'm warning you right now. I'm not going to remember any of these people. Oh, hey, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you new here? Sorry, I don't get out to socialize much. My name's Shiro, and I'm a gamer. Aren't we all? Aren't we all, Shiro? Uh, okay. Wow, shit. What? Is this like a whole expansion on the regular town? What is this? Warning! Please secure your horse in the horse compartment. I don't want another Pegasus incident. Lenny. Oh, this is the, this is the, the sky bridge. Gotcha. Oh, you get a flying horse. I get it. I get it. Okay. We'll probably have to go up there separately to go and introduce ourselves to everybody. Let's go and have a look around the regular town. Get my bearings again. We've already spoken to you. We've already spoken to you and you. I'm never going to remember all these people. This is a nightmare. 72 people. Good God. Okay. Uh, it's Tort's birthday, everybody. Look at all these people. Good God. Happy birthday, Tort. Let's go and have a look in here. Anybody here? Good, I don't, have, don't, don't even urge medical attention. We're going to bleed to death on the steps of Pierre's. Madam. Hello. Oh, my. Aren't you a cutie? Welcome to the valley, dear. It's Olivia. It's so excited when someone new moves in. What does that mean? No love. Not yet. Everybody will love Grigna. Caroline. Hello. You must be Grigna, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. He is, he is Grigna. Grigna's not even sure if it's Grigna right now. I don't recognize you. Hello. Beatrice. Enchanté, I'm Beatrice, the Escarp Lighthouse Keeper. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Oh, lots of new people. <laughs> maybe a, maybe one too many people, to be honest with you. Hello. There's Jody. Aren't you exactly how... I, oh, you aren't exactly how I imagine, but that's okay. Well, how did you imagine him? Probably not looking like... Uh, he looks like the type of guy that would be trying to sell you medication online. And I don't know if that's... uh. <laughs> necessarily. He's charismatic, but in all the wrong ways. A stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't go that far. We don't know anything about cursed farmer Greg now. What's in here? Got anything for him? This is nice. Very relaxing. Where is everybody? I don't know if I've got the patience to track down. I'm gonna be real with you. Another another 62 people. Old lady. Hello, welcome to our little community, dear. Oh, good God, she looks mummified. She looks like she's going to be sat in a wheelchair screaming at me to get her chocolate. We've met you. You're Beatrice, I'm sure. Strive to drop saloon. Yep, I'm well aware of what it is. Let me in. Hello, is this Gus? Oh, it's super. I'm just going to pretend you're Super Mario. I don't know your name. Are we allowed to speak to this guy? Is this Gus? Hello there! I'm, no, we're not doing that. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Thank you, Super Mario. In the mod that renames them all to names that I can remember. Oh, God. They're, they're, one of those machines is absolutely cursed, and it's the worst achievement I've ever tried to get on the whole of my Steam profile. Just actually awful. So maybe we should just play that. <laughs> so I, I know what people are here for. Wait, you. Ah, come back. Shit. We're gonna, you can hop that, for God's sake. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? It's Maru. I'm Maru. We've been looking forward to meeting you. God, it is very creepy, isn't it? It does feel like a cult, this game. Ooh, a broken CD. What has Mayor Lewis been doing that he needs to break his CDs up, huh? Dusty. That's very Pixar. That's very, that's like the, that's like the DreamWorks face, isn't it? Very weird. Don't like that at all. Well, aware, DreamWorks and Pixar aren't the same thing. Hello. It's old man George. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? My name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. You, you, you are my type of guy, George. You single? Give me your bin. Are you allowed to look through bins, but if people see you looking through bins, they hate you, right? Because they're a very accepting community here. Oh, shit. She's going to see me, isn't she? Abigail. 
That's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. Is that it? Is that all you've got to say? Not hello. I'm at you rude piece of shit. Oh, this looks like a party. Pam probably left these bottles here. I don't know who Pam is, but she sounds like a lovely lady. No one's home. Excuse me. I, wait, stand still, stand still. Hello, it's Alex. You're the new guy. Cool, yes, thank you. <laughs> How many more people we got to introduce ourselves to? It's Penny. Hello, I'm Penny. Grigna just, like, walks up to them, looks at them, waits for them to introduce themselves, and then walks off. Doesn't say anything. No, like, hello, I'm Grigna. Completely silent. That's my head cannon for this, this, this iteration of the guy. Oh, this is nice down here. What's this? Can we steal this? Palatin Town Community Garden. I guess not. That's unfortunate. Hello, Clint, you weird man. Oh, no, wait, this is, um, this fella. I don't know his name. Gunther. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. This is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have many artifacts for display. I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts and minerals out there, would you let me know? Uh, maybe. It depends if they're worth anything, to be honest with you. That's a weird-looking dog. Have they expanded this? Oh, it, it look. Well, actually, I don't know. I was going to say it looks bigger, but it could be the same. I thought given that the game is like... <laughs> 123 more mods that maybe there'll be a lot more stuff to collect. Grigner is going to fill this museum. You mark his words. There's a bin there with my name on it. Grigner bin. Well, we're doing good so far. We're only another... Uh, you know, like 60 people. That's fine. Hello. Gus. It's Clint. Sorry, I meant Clint. They all look the same. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. Clint, you make the worst tools I've ever seen. You're a moron. Is the, is the worst thing Grigna's ever had to use. Oh, wait, who should we've spoken to her? O o Olivia? I don't remember. That's Beatrice. Join us. Thrive. Hello. Look, it's Mr. B Smart. Hello. It's Claire. Hi, I haven't seen you before. How you doing, Claire? Nice to see you. I like the music stops when you come in here. Fresh and cheap. Oh, it's all scary, isn't it? Toothpaste. Joja, multi-purpose detergent. Use it for your laundry, your dishes, clean your hands as shampoo, even as toothpaste. Mix it with Joja meal to make a delicious icing. Wow. Go have a chat with this guy. Hello. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing? I don't believe we met. I'm Jeff Bezos, jo jo Joja customer satisfaction representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted and happy to make your transition a joyous experience. Thank you, old man Bezos. Oh, it's just frightening in there. Have we met this guy? Have we spoken before? Hello? Victor! Oh, hey, you're the new owner of, you have Grigna Farm. I'm Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you, Grigna. No, oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Grigna, is it? Ah, I see. He's asking what our name is. I thought he was asking us if it's a pleasure to meet him. That was very presumptive. It was a big old pelican. Okay. This is fine. We're going to be here for the next... It was 6.50pm already. We've wasted the first day just speaking of... Complete randomers. Lost book. You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. It's the Necronomicon. That's, that's absolutely going to be my my 100% headcanon going forward. Hello, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. No problem. <laughs> introducing us is not like the most... It's not like the most interesting thing to open. Hello, I'm Demetrius, father. So, yeah, like, a lot of people are, actually. Hello. Oh, you moved in, right? Cool. Uh, you know, who's this guy? Sebastian. Wow. He's so edgy. He's so, so edgy. Nobody up here. Just smoking by the river. Blasting my chemical romance through his AirPods. Living his best life. Nope. Okay, well, I guess we'll come back there later. Well, I don't think we did a great job for the first day, to be honest with you. Who can we get on the way back? We could probably talk to... Oh, who's that? Oh, that that's Grigna. Oh, that's Grigna. He hasn't got a beard. I thought that was some random lady, but no, it's Grigna. Ah, oh, I get it. I get it. We speak to Linus on the way back. Hello, fella. Got any tech tips for me? A stranger. Hello. Thanks, that's really... <laughs> it's really, it's really good. Oh, inventory full. Wait, you only get a bar of inventory? Oh, that's awful. Oh, God, yeah, that's really bad. Um, We don't want the broken CD, right? That doesn't, that doesn't do anything. Let's go pick that up at least. Might as well try and get something useful rather than just complete crap. Now we're going to try and get home in time before 
<laughs> before the cult activities start. Grin is sacrificed on an altar. Wow, what a place, huh? What the hell is that? There's a giant mushroom. That's got to be. It couldn't, couldn't possibly be anything else. Um, what do you think? Shall I throw away the stone and pick... Oh, no, no. Throw away the stone and pick that up instead. Common mushroom. I feel like stones are probably easier to get than common mushrooms. Well, that was a fun adventure. We've spoken to barely any of the townspeople. Because there are so many people that I am not going to remember. We are not going to be focusing on the people. Let me let me clarify here. This is just a relaxing farming experience. Grigan is not going to be pursuing relationships with all these people. That would be ridiculous. He's here to live his life. Turn a tidy profit. Rent the property out to tenants on the condition they run the farm. And then collect 90% of their profits. Like the good landlord Grigner is. Hello! It's this fella. Oh, it's Clint again. He's wearing a jumper. Hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here. I want you to have them. Thank you, Clint. What a weird man you are. I was watching you in the bushes. I noticed you got some ore. <laughs> Thanks, Clint. You're... Strange man. The furnace allows you to smell metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. <laughs> when you smell that a few... I'm not doing that voice. So I just destroy my throat. A few copper bars. Consider having me upgrade one of your tools. I can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay. I'm heading home. Take it easy. Bye, Clint. You weird man. I was naked in the bushes and then... I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does it sound like you? Well, Pierre has got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. Pierre is about to get robbed. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach and see me. I've got something for you. Willie. I hope that's his name and not what he's got for us. Let's water our plants. Ah, this is good. This is what it's all about, really. This game is a dating simulator wrapped in a farming package. We're going to ignore the dating simulator aspect. Maybe we'll get Grigner a wife or a husband or whatever. That's fine. That's, like, secondary. I want that to develop naturally. I want Grigner to have a say in it. Well, if we come across some water, we also need to refill our watering can. Let's go see... Uh, yeah, you know, let's go see Fishing Man. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's go see Pierre first. See how much he wants for his backpack. See if he'll buy my common mushroom. <laughs> Before we go get our own common mushroom from down on the docks. Something at Pierre's. Hello. It's Morris's birthday. Oh, is that? Oh, wait, hang on. We've got to check this one, haven't we? Um, Demetrius would like a bream. I'm studying them as part of my biological research. 135G on delivery. Demetrius will be pleased. Sure. Well, we're going to the, uh, we're going to the ocean anyway, right? Piaz isn't open for a few hours yet, so we've got time to, time to head down. Who have we not spoken to? There's that weird man on the beach. The weird guy who's like, oh, I'm a writer. You know, that, that type. Oh, wait. Blue Moon Vineyard or Beach? Oh, there's a vineyard. Hello. He's absolutely stoned out of his mind. He can't even stand up straight. Just a barrel of toxic sludge there next to your, next to your building. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, it's Pirate Willie. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. So we decided to get absolutely blazed. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. And I've got a rod for you. Oh, Jesus. It's important to me that it all, the art of fishing stays alive and something... And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. This entire town is a pyramid scheme. You've got to pay for the bridge. Then you have to start a farm to be able to pay for the bridge with the bill that we've slapped you. Here, here's my fishing rod. By the way, you've got to buy bait for it. And oh, guess where? Guess who conveniently sells that? Right, that's right. It's your old pal, Willie. Willie the pirate. I want the art of fishing to stay alive by you paying me. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. There's bad water too in that barrel. Take a sip if you're brave enough. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. Come see me if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Oh, Jesus, Willie. That's, that's why they named me that. <laughs> You're a creepy old man. If it smells, it sells. 
Gamer guy cum sock. All right, well, you just do a little, do a little fish. Kapow. Oh, right now this is this is that really horrible mini game where you have to keep the fish in the center of the bar. But it's hyper, hyper sensitive. And if you try and catch like a legendary fish, is Bream? That's a sardine. Um, I don't want sardine in the bin. I just hate nature that much, you see. Ahoy there! It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. That's very good to hear. It's locked. All right. Well, we've got to get, we've got to empty our inventory somehow. How do you build a chest? Oh, look at these shells. Ah! I'm sorry, I can't pick them up. That's really good early game money, isn't it? Too. Shit. Um, we need to, we need to like, find a way to store some stuff. How, how do we craft? Crafting. Chest. 50 wood. Let's dash back to the house quick before Pierre's opens. Dump all this stuff. I should be going to the beach and picking up that. Ooh. Nothing. Damn it. Burnt CDs and shredded locks from Pierre. Like shredded paperwork. Nothing but embezzlement for his secret cult. Who are you? Martin. Hi there. You're the owner of Grigner Farm. What gave it away? My manager held a meeting about you. I work part-time at Joja Mart. Held a meeting about Grigner. Oh, hello. Madam. Floor. Hello. I don't know everyone in the valley, but are you new? It's nice to meet you, Grigner. Finished graduating school for clinical psychology, and now I'm living at the hotel. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Floor. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, tiny child. The little Goku. Hey, yeah, where did you come from? I've never seen you before. I'm Kia Kiahi. Sure. Come visit my dad's restaurant sometime. No, I will not be doing that. Uh, hello, it's another new person. Carmen. Hola, my name is Carmen. If you need any fishing stuff, I have your back. So does Willie. Are you two in cahoots? You've also been looped into his pyramid scheme, I see. Uh, in 28 out of 74, and I cannot remember half these people. Good God. Maybe we should just not worry about that. If we finish it, we finish it. Otherwise, forget it. Craft the furnace. Okay, I can do that one. Delivery. We've got to bring Demetrius a bream. I completely forgot about that. Uh, right, let's get some wood. First things, for, one at a time. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Uh, let's do this. Where's the energy bar? I might, I might, oh, it's there. Right, got it. Thought I was going mad for a second, then I realized, no, it's fine. I'm just, I'm like, actually going mad. I remember the energy being just, like, awful to micromanage in this. That was that mod that, like, you, like, lie in bed and get your energy back. Maybe, maybe I'll download that if it's just, like, horrible. I don't want... Gr Grigner is a big, strong barbarian man. He fells trees for fun. He fells trees to get his energy back. This shouldn't exhaust him. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. That seems good. Uh, please let me through. Good lord. <laughs> All this sap. Now, what do we do with sap? We make uh, fertilizer, right? Well, let's just throw... Can we, like... D that's what I wanted to do. Let's get the sap. We'll come back for all that other various accoutrements later, I suppose. The garbage on the floor. That makes sense. a chest. Uh, you can go on the floor for now. Pick you up in a second. Boom. Nice. I think everything's just going to go in there for the timing. I think a lot of these are used... Oh, that gives you energy. Back. That's nice. A lot of these are used for um, like community bundles too, aren't they? So I'm not going to sell anything or eat anything or, or, or mess around with anything quite yet. What's that there? That looks like a thing. What are you? Pow? I have no idea. I think that was an acorn that I just crushed. Grigna hates life. <laughs> so he's decided to become a farmer, haphazardly. Uh, let's go to Pierre, see how much he wants for his backpack. Maybe we'll do a little fishing. Oh, new people. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Run, Grigna. Grigna sprinting towards them, just so we can say hello. Greetings. It's I, Grigna. It's Ian. Are you the new farmer who moved in, right? I am Ian. I live over in the Ridgeside Village. Generally, I work for whoever asks and can pay a good fee. Uh, is this like Willie's it, if it smells, it sells situation? That can include you, of course. Oh, it is. Right, I see. A man for hire. It's Jerick. Are you all the one who defeated Jerick at the Valley of the Jedi? Oh, you're a new farmer, huh? My name's Jerick Grigner, is it? If you ever need some farm supplies, you can always visit my shop. Wow, this is so much. There is so much going on. Who are you? Is that Marnie? Oh, it is. Hello. Mayor Lewis told me you'd arrived. I'm Marnie. Mayor Lewis telling you a lot, huh? Hello, random guy. Sterling. You're new here, aren't you? My name's Sterling. I moved here not too long ago myself. Maybe it'll give us something to talk about over some beers. First one's on me, all right? See you around. 
We've spoken to you. Pierre. Hello. Hey, it's Mr. Grigner. <laughs> Please, my father was Mr. Grigner. Call me Grigner. The new farmer, I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'm actually looking for that bag, old man. Uh, 2000G. That's actually not as bad as I thought. I remember it being a lot more expensive than that. We're here for the calisthenics class, by which I mean we're here to introduce ourselves awkwardly to all these ladies. Hello. Hello, dear. Having a productive day. Thank you. Hello. Emily. I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the salon. Saloon. Oh. That's where I work. What are you going to do in the evening, that other guy? Remember, if it sells, it smells. Uh, if you need any materials or blueprints, yep, we've already spoken to you. Wow, it is a shrine. What's going on? Weird cult activities going on. The altar of Yoba. Kalima. It's horrifying, isn't it? Solid gold altar. You wonder why they charged us 100,000 for that bridge. You've just found out why. Who are you? Hello. Mia. I, it's very important doing our best here to stay healthy. Thankfully, it's easy to eat fresh and organic with all the wonderful crops around the valley. Pass. No, I'll take a Papa John's. Not willingly. It's not that good. <laughs> Where are we going now? I guess we'll uh, try and do the quest for... Let's try and get that backpack. I think the backpack's a good, a good early thing to aim for. Because otherwise, we're going to be doomed when we go and do actual Grigner activities, like go in the mines and slay people. Is there not like, you can put like specializations or am I going completely nuts? I've gone completely mad. Yeah, that's right. You you tra train and then you get to level five, you can like pick a thing. You pick a skill. I think that's the case anyway. Bream, where do you think we catch a Bream? River. Show me a Bream. Ah, nice peaceful day here as Grigner. Remember there was a really good fishing mod the way you, if you got a streak. There was a much higher chance of getting treasure. So the more fish you caught successfully in a row. That was quite fun. It made the fishing minigame a lot more... A lot more dynamic. If that isn't in the pack, I genuinely might add that on. That's not a bream. That's a bass. All right, let's try again. Grignor is a master of the sea. Remember. If it smells, it sells. I'm gonna get that on a shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna get that on a pair of socks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. There's another small man. I'm going to have to look up where to... Well, I mean, a bream you catch in the sea. Because they're called sea bream, right? Generally, anyway. Give me that. That's mine. Grigna hates nature. Give me that clam. Who's this person? Oh, that's the lady we spoke to before. Uh, Kachow. Nope, that one. Oh, good. Actual manure. Clay, in quotes. Okay, let's go catch ourselves a bream. See what we can find out here on the pier. Kapow! Do you get a bonus for it being max? Well, if you don't, I'm sure there's a mod for it. But there's 123 mods between friends anyway. We could push that up to 400 easy if we tried. Now, Grigna, Grigna's long-term plans, right? Brewery. Gr brewing lots and lots of alcohol. Going through the mines and slaying all their foes. That would be massive. That would be really good for Grigna. Very on brand. Maybe, maybe a lot of ranching. Lots of livestock. What the hell happened there? Lots of animals, that type of thing. That could be quite good for Gregner. I think the brewery is going to be... The, like, like Gregner's dream is to make the greatest bottle of wine. Maybe we should do that. Try and get, like, legendary... What is it? Like, legendary star fruit wine or something like that. That'd be good. That's the plan. That's one of the big plans. I think what we're really aiming to do is just finish the community center, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically 100% completion anyway. Unless you want to fall in love with every goddamn person in the city, which I think might take a long time. That's a flounder. That's not a bream. 38 energy, 17 health. Well, hopefully this will be enough for Pierre's backpack after all the... Oh, I should have put this stuff away that we weren't using. Come on, Greg. Now get your head in the game. One intelligence. Smooth brain. Sea brain. That actually could be. That's a herring. That's not a sea bream at all. Now I see why Demetrius is paying top dollar for this damn fish. If you've got any suggestions for Grigner's farming adventures, good mods, things that you would like to see, happy to take a look. Happy to add some stuff in. Stardew seems like one of those games that shouldn't be too dangerous to mod. Obviously, like a bunch of conflicting map mods. Don't do that. 
Now, this one's slightly harder to catch. This could be our Seabream. It's a bit more erratic. Kaboom! That's an anchovy. God. Um. Can we just throw it on the floor? Oh, I threw it back in the ocean. God damn it. I wanted to sell that. Do you sell stuff now? Or have I got to speak to you in like a... She won't even speak to me. Wow. Just completely stonewalled, huh? Hello. Old man Willie. Remember, if it smells, it sells. Just like a <laughs> stinky bed. Uh, what have we got, right? Have we got the training rod? Is that what we have? Old fishing rod. Why would you ever buy the training rod? It's a lot easier to use, but only catches basic fish. Okay, so fair enough. So if you were just trying to get, like, some beginning stuff. Well, 870. We're already flying towards that backpack. Pierre's not going to know what hits him. I'm going to wipe that man out. We are going to systematically remove every other business from this island. Mark my words. Is this thing not, like, really good to build early on? Because then you get, like, a load of stuff from over there. 300 pieces of wood. Maybe we could do that. That doesn't seem like it'd be too difficult to get the wood to do. Because then you get, like, a bunch of extra, like, shells and sea stuff, right? Either way, we are going to wrap it... Oh, hello, you're the weird guy, right? Ah, the new farmer's here we've been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh... I don't like that guy. He is not on Gregner's to-do list. Let's put it that way. Can we go through this bin, or will that... <laughs> that guy's going to see me. Oh, who are you? Greetings. As uh, Haley, I think. Hello, it's Grigner. You're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Boy! Grigner is a man. He's a warrior. Hello, it's Penny. The town's safe, but I always walk the children home anyway. Have we spoken to her before? Hi. Hello. Uh, I'm El El Eloise, but you can call me Ellie if you like. You're the new farmer, right? Thank you. Vincent. Mum won't let me have any more gummies today. I don't know how you feel. You wait till you're grown up. Then you can eat three bags back to back and call it dinner and then feel sick for the rest of the night. Not that I'm speaking from experience. Let's go through Marnie's post. You know she gets some weird stuff in the post. Just just nudes of Mayor Lewis. Non-stop nudes. Well, let's go down some trees then. See if we can... We might just be able to scrounge out that bridge today if we're fast. No, we are not going to be fast. This man is going to run out of energy after, like, two trees. You're a slow guy. Is it worth chopping down the, the root as well if we're just trying to get wood? Probably not, right? Seems like it uses a lot more energy. 17 wood per tree. Oh, God, this is going to take days. Look at all the butterflies. Oh, you're starting to feel exhausted. Okay, okay, don't overwork yourself here. Is it this game, if you overwork yourself, the next day you're more exhausted? Maybe. Maybe that's Harvest Moon. I don't, I don't even remember. Right, let's throw all this stuff in here. Grigner's, that's, Grigner's gonna call it there for today. He's gonna go to sleep. To-do list. There is a, a, a to-do list somewhere. Uh, oh, quick stack. Like Terraria. Brilliant. I know what I'm doing now. Um, oh, wow. I need to go through the options at some point, too. There is a, a, there's a mod that adds a to-do list that we've got, but I don't know what the to-do list button is. Um, I, wanted to, I wanted to write a bunch of... Uh, let's have a look here. Is there a, a way to... Medium lighting quality. Oh, well, we can we can crank it up. We can look even better. Here we are. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, to-do list. Uh, it's not there. I'll check the mod. I'll write a to-do list. We've got to get the backpack. That seems pretty good. We've got to build the bridge so we can go over there and pick up all the stuff. As long as we do enough scavenging, that seems pretty good. Then we pay for the backpack a little sooner while we wait for the plants to grow. Uh, maybe go buy a load of seeds and try and grow those as quick as possible, right? That seems like an all right idea. And can we lie in bed to get the energy back? Is my next question. No. We can't. I genuinely might add that mod. Because I think it'd be better than just blitzing through the day super, super fast as it is anyway. So, we'll see. Anyway, if you've got any suggestions for Grigner's Adventure, things that he wants to do. Building many breweries. We're going to turn this whole farm into a brewery. There's a, there's a cool mod on the uh, Nexus Mods page that lets you build, like, brewery buildings. So, you can fit a lot more stuff in. Then we've got Automate as well. We're, I'm saying we're going to build, like, an actual industrial operation here. Because it's Stardew Valley. What, what, what more would you want? 